Hello everyone, this is Fredrik Vermling again. Uh, in this short uh, video I'm going to show you how to generate a read count file from your CUSPR CRISPR screen using Greenlisted and CRISPR analyzer softwares. Uh, if you're interested in me and my, my group, the work of my group, please go to our webpage. Um, so this video does will show you how to generate a custom library using the Greenlisted software. This is the web page. And then how to extract read counts from a screen. So you perform your screen using your custom CRISPR library that you generated using CRISP, uh, Greenlisted. And then you perform your screen and you sequence it. And then you want to get out kind of uh, the, the read counts linked to your different guide RNAs that we're going to use uh, CRISPR analyzer for, which is a, it's a great software that I don't have any affiliation with. Anyway. Okay, so let's get started. So this is how we would, I remove it myself. And this is how we would generate our our libraries. So we would order custom uh, general libraries at 70 meters, and we clone them into BSMV1 Cleave Lentiguide Puro using Gibson Assembly. So this is the Lentiguide Puro, uh, which uh, we use versions of. And what you hopefully can see here is that uh, you have U6 promoter and you have sgRNA scaffold here, sort of. Yeah, this might be too small, but anyway, you just have to believe me that if you cleave this with BSMB1, you get cut here and you get cut here, and then you purify this part, and then you clone in your 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 uh, GRNAs in there. And the way we do that, so we order, as mentioned, 70 mirrors, um, looking something like this. So they have an overlap here. The red part is going to overlap with this end of Lentiguide Puro. This is going to be, this is an example then of a spacer or a guide RNA. Um, and this is the overlap on this end here. So we order libraries looking like this. Um, and then we clone them in as a library into the uh, cleaved uh, Lentiguide Pure. Right? Uh, and I want to uh, wanna make the point here, because I'm going to come back to it later, that when we talk about customer regular expression in CRISPR Analyzer, it's something the software needs to identify where to look at the sequences. So here, in this case, you see ACG, ACCG, and GT, GT. And in between, there is going to be 20 bases. So this is an information we give to the software so it can decode basically what's, what we see here. OK, so let's uh, go to, um, uh, let's start by going to, oh, <laughs> Good start here. Yeah, I need to put on my Wi-Fi. Sorry. Um, let's go to Greenlisted. Uh, hopefully this works. Yes. So here is the Greenlisted software as mentioned. Uh, you, there's plenty of uh, videos about this, but basically we choose where we want our guides to come from. We input the list of them. We add overhangs for adapters and press run. There's videos and demos on how to use and how to cite and everything here. So let's go for a, uh, a library uh, here. So here is just a list. Let's say you, by some reason, figure out the list of genes that you want to screen for in a smaller custom targeted library. So I'm doing that here. So I'm going to copy this list here. Uh, I'm just going to paste them in here. I'm going to add adapter sequences, and we usually use the Brie library from Doan Chairman. And no, that's not what I want to show you. Okay. So the overhangs we want to use are five prime. This one, right? Like that and here since we've done this before I, 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 this is the one we want there but it's coming from this list i showed you so this is the overhangs we want and then we just press run you see it starts counting up we had 88 genes in this small screen download result comes up down here and we could look at the compact list if we want to just see these are the genes and these are the number of guide RNAs found so there's four of all of them, which is what was expected. There's no file here that says uh, not found. So all the guys were find, found, and that we can also see here. 
um, it found uh, 88 out of 88. And then we can go to this output shortlist then. I, oh, like that. And I'm going to copy this one, this list. And then I'm going to go to Excel. And just going to paste it in here, like that. Um, it is sometimes this comes up. Um, now it comes up separated by um, um, it's in, into different rows, right, and columns. If it doesn't, because it can be when you when you paste it in here, it can come out as a uh, just as a that this is just one string. What you do then is to mark them. Go to data, text to columns, eliminated, next, and then you choose tab here. Because if 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 this is not uh, tab, and then you press finish, um, and then it's going to separate itself like this. Because sometimes Excel doesn't understand the file type, uh, and then just makes it into one string. But if you do it like, um, if so, so then you but then you you just mark the whole row, data, text to columns, eliminated, tab separated, finish, and then it's going to work. All right, so here we have the GRNA uh, sequence adapter. So basically this, we would just, we would copy these two and send it to the company for synthesis. That's when we order our library. But now we want to also um, use, uh, make a reference, uh, guide RNA reference library for the CRISPR analyzer. So we're going to order this one. We're going to clone it into a vector as I showed you, um, or the, the, the principles behind it. And then we're going to uh, make viruses, introduce it into our cells, and perform the screen where we separate cells that behave in different ways, right? Interesting, not interesting. So principle two groups in, in, in different ways we could do that. Uh, your, your imagination is, is the limitation here. And then, of course, we, so we separate cells based on some uh, feature, some parameter. And then we sequence them and want to know how many of these guidernates are found in the different groups. Are there any ones that are enriched or depleted from the groups, right? And that, of course, we do by next generation sequencing, where we take the cells and, we, and then we sequence the guidernate set, send it for, for next generation sequencing. We use, usually use MySeq. Um, but then the question is how to get out the actual numbers from that, the read count, like what's the, how to get out the representation. So to do that, we're going to use um, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just showing you all my data. Uh, yeah, I read somewhere that you should, when making a video, you should clean up your um, your desktop, which is a good advice. Anyway, we're going to use CRISPR analyzer um, for this purpose, and this has been done by these people, if I understand correctly. Um, it's, a, it's a great software. Um, as mentioned, I have no affiliation with them, but have a look at it. So um, if we go to uh, CRISPR analyzer, uh, and now I think that internet should work, it looks something like this. So there's a lot of information here. Um, so when you do that, you set up your screen, you upload your data here. We're going to use a custom library. So this is the screen library. You could, in principle, we probably in this case could use the Brie because we start from the Brie, but let's say you would use guides that come from different contexts. Right? Then you would choose custom, and then you need to upload your sgRNA library file. And this file, uh, it needs to look a very particular way. So, th so that's um, uh, something that's worth, um, it, it, one of the th problems we had with this, or no, I shouldn't say problem, but one of the things that has been we struggled with when using this was how to format this kind of file. So the format of it, oh, sorry, the format of this file needs to look, and all this information is in here. I, I encourage you to press, click here, oh, yeah, click here for help, because then you get a lot of information here. So most problems you could have are, are found there. But um, the, the, the reference, screen reference that you for your custom library needs to look like this. So it needs to be fast to format, some kind of identifier with gene like this, and then the actual gRNA sequence, and then a new line, and then the gRNA sequence again. So this is how it needs to look, uh, or 
how we do it at least I mean, you might be able to look make it some different ways because you can change a little bit how they look but that's in line with the standard at least um, so how to make that then? So, of course, we had this. Um, because we have a list looking like this, right? Um, and how to make it into this? Uh, how to make it into this? Um, looking like. Sorry, looking like this is the only question. That's a faster file. So okay, I'm gonna copy these two and put them in here. Um, and then I'm gonna show you a little bit of Excel magic. So in principle, we want it to look like this, then have a name, and this, and then have only this sequence here. So I'm gonna start by trimming this a little bit. So I want to get rid of this, right? So let's say we want to replace this with nothing. And then we want to get rid of this one. Like that. So now we trim that. And then I can tell you that the fact that we had this line here in the name does not is not compatible with a CRISPR analyzer, so let's change that one too. So let's replace that one with that one. All right, so now it actually looks pretty decent, although it's in different columns. So then we're going to use this fantastic concatenate feature. Text one, two, three, and four. And then we're done there. Let's build this in like that. And then we can just basically pull it all the way down. Like this. And then you'll see we get the first one right here. Now this of, of course is going to be formula. So we need to copy it and paste it as text. And then it's just going to be text. Right? Um, like that. The other thing, if you remember, is that we need, so this is the first row now, and then we need to have the actual sequence after it. So what we can do then is to basically say equals this one, oh, sorry, equals this one, and that equals that one. Right. And then, let's go back in. We can just copy this all copy this all the way down here. And copy this all the way down here and make sure that this becomes correct. And what you can see now is that it looks correct, but it's actually just gonna have every second one, right? It skips one in the middle here, which is of course how we would we would expect based on how we set up this in Excel. So 50% of the library comes here, is this text. And then um, I'm going to paste it in one row below it, like that. So I just paste it. Um, and then you see now that we're going to start, this one is that one, that one is that one. So now we actually get the rest of the library. Um, and then I'm just going to paste that. In the bottom, so we just make it in two, two parts. Oh, this is also longer than I. And so this is the first part, and then we get the second part here. Once again, paste as text. I need to move this to be. And it's down here. Right, so now we have our list. We're going to copy that. We're going to open Notepad, paste it in here, and then save this as um, 
ref library one dot pasta save and now we actually generated this type of library so now actually we can just go into um, go back then to CRISPR analyzer we're going to upload our library and uh, in this case I'm actually not going to use the one we just made because that one doesn't make sense I'm going to use one that I made before that's actually linked to an experiment although by far not optimal but so here you put it in and and what you want is to see it like this so that the, there's identifier that's in blue and then there's a sequence in green then it usually works okay that was the first part and then we're going to upload our sequencing data so this is going to be a gz file coming out from our so this is a zipped fast queue coming out from the more or less the raw data coming out from my seek in our case you can of course use other sequencing platforms um, so that's uploaded and then we go to this fast queue options here and here we come back to this regular expression so there's two things that we struggled a little bit with when trying to set this up and the one thing was how to format the reference library for the software to re recognize it and the other one is this um, regular expression which is also sensitive so that if you if anything is wrong there the software doesn't understand how to do it so we figured out with our setup that we need to use we can't use any of the standard ones which is a little bit surprising uh, but instead we need to enter our own and i think you remember that we talked about this regular expression so we have defined it like this so basically telling the software that the guide sequence that we're interested in 20 20 basis that should be mapped to our reference library is between accg and gt so we put that in here and it actually needs to be in capital letters i think and there's there's several options here this fastq data quality report is good uh, but it takes time so oftentimes you unclick that then we say upload and check files and and what is going on now is of course that the the, the the reads from our sequencing is going to be mapped on top of our library and it's going to get we're going to get an output on how many reads the number of reads related to each of these these guides in reference and as mentioned this is not an optimal experimental setup that i'm showing you data from but uh, it's it's uh, informative and we are so then we go to review your data so the library was minimal I uploaded one sample trying to make it fast here you could look, um, this is good to look at how map to reference, if there's, if all of them are not aligned, something is wrong, and this is usually the error you get if you're, uh, for example, then if you're, uh, if, if there's some error with your um, custom regular expression, if this is not correct, the software might try to do it, but it, it also probably is going to give you zero percent not not aligned so that that's something to look into now. so then we download a read count file it looks if it comes up it looks something that doesn't make sense right but um if we go to our download file it's going to be here as a gz file we need to unzip it i'm going to unzip it here in swedish that's what's set and then there's a tar file coming out and then we can open this one with excel and then you see uh, all the data here so basically you get an information about and as mentioned this is by far not an optimal experiment uh, you get to see this is the actual uh, the library that was used and these are the identifiers then and how many reads that were found for each individual here and of course this is just a starting point for analyzing your 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 CRISPR screen um, when you go back here, uh, you'll see that there's a lot of um, uh, other um, things that you could use, a lot of for, for actual performing analysis of your screen results. So if you upload several samples, for example, control, et cetera, controls, etc., th this is a full uh, package, um, fantastic software. Um, but here I'm just showing you how to download the, the read count. So, all right, that was it. Hopefully, now you can go from generating a library in in, in green listed or whatever way you want to do it 
um, and then uh, how we a little bit of how we clone it and how we use it and then when you get your sequencing data back from your screen screen how you could uh, work with CRISPR analyzer that as mentioned I have no connection to but but like very much um, and how to get out the read counts and maybe at a later time point I'll go through a little bit about how how to actually analyze the screen but but there's also a lot of information here videos so I, I think these these guys probably made better videos than me uh, related to their software so all right thank you very much I hope that was helpful um, Thank you.